What is sexual harassment? Sexual harassment. Well, it's a crime, and it's a crime that often goes unpunished. Okay, let's say this woman is walking to work, and that guy says, Hey, sexy, nice rack. Want to come over tonight and I'll give you a good time? Okay, the word rack means a woman's breasts. Okay, so he's saying, hey, sexy, nice rack. Want to come over? That means come to my house tonight and I'll give you a good time. Okay, she's just walking to work. She doesn't want to hear this. Uh, she doesn't like it, right? She just wants to go to work. She doesn't want to hear this guy, you know, checking her out. To check someone out means to, to look at them in a sexual way. Like, hmm, wow, nice rack or nice butt. Okay, that's called checking them out. Okay, so sexual harassment means unwelcome sexual advances. Okay, the word advances means to move forward. Okay, you can advance verbally or physically. Now, this guy, he didn't touch her, right? But he advanced on her verbally. Okay, so it can be verbal or physical. Now, there's a very popular hashtag on the internet right now. It's hashtag me too. So women post this on their social media accounts if they have been sexually harassed or sexually assaulted. Okay, this is really popular. It's gone viral. And what does it mean when something's gone viral? It means it's gotten really popular really fast. Okay, so thousands and thousands of women have posted this hashtag, me too. Okay, now what is harassment? What does this word mean? Well, it means unwanted verbal or physical treatment. Okay, now we often use this word with the ing ending. And that's because harassment is very often a continuous thing. Okay, it doesn't just happen once, it's like continual. Right, look at this example. She keeps harassing me about my political views. I already told her I'm not going to vote. And she keeps telling me that it's my duty to vote. Okay, so this guy has a friend and she keeps telling him he needs to vote. Hey, you need to vote. We live in a free country. It's your duty. It's a democracy. Okay, we live in a democracy. You're lucky to live here in this country that you have the freedom of speech, you have the freedom of religion, it's your duty to vote. Brave men and women died so you can have this freedom. So it's your duty to vote. Okay, but he's not interested in politics. He doesn't like the government. He doesn't want anything to do with that. So he's not going to vote. So he says, she keeps harassing me about my political views. Okay, so harassment can be like that. It can be, it can be in all contexts. It can be in a, seri in a really serious context, or it can be in a joking context. Okay, let's say that guy has a girlfriend. Here's his girlfriend. And she always says, when are we going to get married? When are we going to get married? Okay, and he says, hey, stop harassing me about it. Okay, because it's continual. She, she's always asking him. Right, right? So that's why we have the ing ending. Hey, stop harassing me. Okay, so sexual harassment is unwelcome sexual advances. It can be verbal or physical. Now, sexual assault is physical. Physical violence, sexual violence against someone else, okay? It could be rape, groping, molesting someone, okay? Rape is when you force someone to have sex okay now groping you probably don't know what this word means okay groping means this okay let's say you're riding on a bus and there's lots of people on the bus and you're standing there you know hanging on to the handle and someone reaches from behind and grabs your butt okay that would be groping okay now molesting 
That means sexual assault against children. Okay, molestation is sexual assault against children. Now, there's a very bad practice called bacha bazi in Pakistan and Afghanistan. It's where men molest boys. Okay, the word bacha means boy, and the word bazi means play. Okay, so they're just sort of playing with boys, but it's sexual and, and it's bad, okay? But you know what? This happens in a lot of other countries too. It's not just Afghanistan and Pakistan. Molestation even happens here in Canada, unfortunately. Okay, so pedophilia means sexual attraction to children. Okay, so we could say the pedophile was given life imprisonment. Okay, that means he was sent to prison for life. Actually, life imprisonment often doesn't mean for a person's whole life. It could be like 20 years, or maybe they'll get out of jail even sooner. Okay, so it's not always for their whole life. Child pornography means pictures or videos of children involving sexual content. Okay, child prostitution, that's when children are forced to be sex workers. Okay, so that's really sad. And I want to know, should sexual crimes, what do you think? Should sexual crimes against children be punished more severely? Okay, should they be punished more severely than if it's not a, a child? Okay, and how would you define the word child? What is a child? Let me know in the comments right down there. And hey, if you want to learn more vocabulary on crime and justice, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.